in terms of Brexit, I think we have to put everything with the UK Internal Market Bill within the context of um, obligations, treaty obligations. We have to look at that within the framework of the Withdrawal Agreement Act that was signed earlier on this year. And the fact of the matter is, that piece of legislation, that bill is about safeguarding the integrity of the United Kingdom. It's not about breaking the law at it all. It is. <laughs> Oh, well, it, the it isn't, Kay. Okay. Our five, lo not. five living prime ministers all say that it's breaking the law. Former Tory leader Michael Howard, two ex-chancellors say it's wrong, uh, Lamont and Javid, two ex-Tory uh, attorney generals um, uh, all saying that it's wrong and we are breaking the law, uh, the international law. You're saying that we are do we are breaking the law or we're doing it in Parl a limited Parliament way? Parliament is sovereign when it comes to how international treaties, I think we should be clear about this, international treaties are not just interpreted but actually applied through our Acts of Parliament. But the fact of the matter is as well, when the Withdrawal Act and the Northern Ireland Protocol was agreed to, it was pretty clear that there were inconsistencies. So Brandon Lewis is, is wrong. Which is why, if, if I may, mm, Kate, which is please. why the Joint Committee was established to iron out those inconsistencies. That has clearly not happened yet. doesn't mean we've given up on that. OK, you've made your point. Brandon Lewis is on. wrong. Brandon Lewis is wrong when he said that the government was breaking the law in a limited way. We are absolutely not doing that. So you're not the breaking purpose, the law? The purpose of the bill is to ensure that we preserve the integrity of the United Kingdom.